Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be walking through one of my escape room games that I have decommissioned. Um, so if you're building an escape room or you're looking to design some games, uh, feel free to watch this video. Uh, all the puzzles are up for grabs. So if you need a puzzle idea or you want to, uh, you know, just change things up a little bit, get get some, uh, open up the creative side of you, uh, feel free to watch this. Steal my puzzles, use them in your games. Um, they're all up for grabs. So uh, we're going to do a walkthrough. And uh, right now the game is not reset, so just everything is open. Uh, and I'll do my best to try to commentate on what everything is. Um, this is a proven game with thousands of groups played. About a 37% escape rate um, with unlimited clues. So uh, let's, get, uh, let's get going with the video and check out the room. All right, so imagine all these doors are closed. This is the first room you're in. And this gate right here is closed and locked with the padlock. So first thing you have to do is come over here, lift this up, there's an arrow down here. It goes right up here. Um, it's a little bit darker than it looks in this camera, the film, but you gotta find four objects. Each of the objects have a number on it. So the helmet's over there on the, there's the helmet water can, rope, and lantern. Uh, that opens up this switch. You turn this switch on for this red light to appear. Come over here to these joysticks and this obviously is always closed. Um, you got up, up, right, left. You do these joysticks all together and this door opens. Uh, in there there's a flashlight and a mirror with this image right here. So if you look at this image right here, it's actually one of these. And if you put the flashlight under here, this is a two-way mirror. And you can see inside here to get one of these. So there's one, two, three of those around. And if you pull this rope up, you get the fourth number. And that gets you through this gate which is normally shut and locked. Get in here and you're that door is shut, that door is shut. The next step is this door. And the clue says gold is the key. And you just find the gold key. There's a ton of silver ones, but only one's gold. And that opens up this room. And you move these curtains and look over here. And you see that number nine right there, the two underlines. You're gonna use that. Let's look over here. You can see a bunch in the game. You bring that nine, the two underlines over here. So it's nine, nine, flip it upside down, six, six, gets you into here. In this pit, hard to see, but there's some gloves down here. You use the gloves. Move the balls around and there's four colored balls. And the four colored ball, uh, balls will get you the answer to color lock. Inside this will be four, two tubes plus two you already had throughout the game. You come over here and this is a simple puzzle. Every single tube is a different length. And you put these in. Inside there is the number. All oh, this is PVC. That gets you a key to the next room. So if you look at these clocks, we're gonna be using those later. We'll be using this wheel later. Oh, we'll go to the next room. Next room has a bunch of tubes. You can sort of see on camera. You can see the arrows. Um, in real life, you can't see it. But there's a bunch of switches on the door or in, throughout the room. And there's a switch back here. You turn this switch on, turns the black light on, and we'll give you the direction of what tubes. So for the tubes, you need to go back to this other room. And each tube has a number underneath it. 
little hard to see. It's a little, oh, there it is. Um, and that's going to be your code to get into the final room. So let's go under there and remember these clocks and this colored wheel. We'll be using those later. So let's go through here. Once you get into this final room, um, yeah, let's do the, you use the color wheel to get this correct. And that lights up the arrows. And we have one of these directional locks that you use. Based on those arrows. And the trick is you gotta use, the reflection will help. You have to use the mirror to reverse the arrows. So that gives you one of the final keys. The other final key is from this. So there's uh, missing a couple letters, but those are the clocks from before. Um, you go to three o'clock, seven o'clock, five o'clock, and 11 o'clock, you get the word push. It opens up here. Now you gotta count some blue chains throughout the game. They're all hidden. You count the links, like one, two, three, four. And that gives you access to these switches. So one, two, three, four. Each switch turns a light on, and right underneath it, there's a zero. So you do the four switches left to right to get four numbers. And that gives you this crossword puzzle. And throughout the game, there's four numbers with orange around it. You start at the X and fit them in where they fit. And that's how you get the other final keys. Seven, four, two, six, two final keys. You're out with the timer.